Cheers. Cheers first. Mmm. Uh. like mama. Good? Mm-hmm. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so so long since I made a video. Well, like two months, but still I feel like it's been so long. But I'm finally back and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. It's not gonna be like a hearty meal. I'm making more of like a sweet treat. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make candied fruit. It's kind of the same thing. Actually, it's basically the same thing as candy apples except you just use different fruit so you can basically make this with any fruit that you want i'm going to be making it with strawberries because they were on sale at my local store i actually made these for valentine's day but they were kind of a fail and i also got a really bad burn <laughs> so um but that was my mistake um so now that i've learned from my mistakes i think i've got it down and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. So I hope you all enjoy. I'm gonna be using two cups of sugar. I'm also gonna be using a third cup of corn syrup and um, one fourth cup of water, but I'm gonna use this for the sugar first, so I'll add the water in later. You're going to need fruit of your choice. Um, today I'm gonna be using strawberries and also some leftover grapes from last time. You're also going to be needing some skewers. And um, I'm using this silicone baking sheet, but um, you could also use parchment paper. Please do not use wax paper. I tried to do that last time and it was a fail. I'm also going to be using this little spatula and this little whisk. So I've also lined my stove with some foil just because last time it got a little messy and it was really hard to clean so this way I can just take the foil off and toss it in the trash rather than trying to scrub off the hard candy Okay, so now that these have been soaking for a little bit and I've rinsed them, I'm going to drain. And as you can see, the water is super dirty, so it's really important that you wash your fruit. Okay. So I did put a glove on because I don't want you guys to see my nasty um, burn. But now I'm just patting them dry. Okay, so now that all my strawberries are dry, I'm going to take off the leaf, leaf part and then use this little part of my um, potato peeler to just take out this stem. done cleaning all of the fruit we're just going to skewer it like I said these um, grapes were left over from last time Okay, so now that all of our fruit is ready, it's time to work on the candy part. So I forgot to mention that this gets really hot, so I really do not recommend you to make this with your kids or nieces, nephews, grandkids because it's really dangerous. Like you guys saw, I got a really bad burn um, 
from it so just be very very careful when you're doing this and um don't let your kids help you okay so into our pot goes our two cups of sugar water and lastly our one third cup of corn syrup and i'm using my spatula that way i can get all of it out well most of it <laughs> Now with my little whisk, I'm just going to mix it all together. until it looks like this okay so i'm turning this on to a medium heat so i don't have a candy thermometer but last time i let this cook for about 13 minutes and it came out perfect so i'm gonna do the same thing um, if you do have a candy thermometer then you want to let it go until it hits about 300 degrees fahrenheit Okay, so I went ahead and placed my silicone sheet on top of um, my cutting board just because once they're done, I'm going to want to put this whole thing in the fridge and it'll be easier than trying to just get this in the fridge. I'm also just going to spray this with a little bit of cooking spray just so that it really won't stick. So it's been about 7 minutes and this is what it's looking like about halfway there it's really important that you have all of your fruit and stuff ready before um, the candy is ready because once it hits temp um, you have to work fast before it breaks like I said again be very careful and just make sure that you have everything ready okay so we're about to hit our 13 minute mark and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like again it is very very hot so just be very careful Okay, so we're gonna turn the heat off and I'm going to grab my oven mitt because this is hot. Yes, I know it's from Christmas, whatever. This is what they look like now but since we put them in the really hot um, candy uh, the fruit is a little hot so I like to put them in the fridge so that they can get nice and cold and the candy can get even harder so it'll be crunchy okay so they're finally ready this is what they look like Ooh. which one do you want to taste the cherry. The cherry? 
Okay. Go for it. Grab it. I can't. It's too hard to pull it. Here. I made a cherry one with the leftover. The leftover candy. I'm going to try this one. Cheers. Cheers first. Yeah. Ah. Mm. I like mama. Good? Mm hmm. Can I like mama? Can I like mama? Can I like mama? Tastes like strawberry. Try with the grape one because they're my favorite. Please give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.